hand it over to Jisung for the translation. Thank you very much, guys. This is Jisung with the Game Translation. And let's hear from Kellen and Clint from Gen Z picking up 2 2 0 victory tonight. Kellen, this is your first POG ever. 2020, February 8th. How are you feeling right now? This is my first experience, so I'm really happy. So, your previous match was your first win, and this time, this is your first POG. Well, the teammates were celebrating it together with me, and also, the people at our team working for us also celebrated our first win. And Clint, POG for two times in a row. Are you satisfied with your performance? I think we are cleaner and we improved our performance. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of satisfied. Yeah, I mean, last time, BDD, Clint both mentioned the game was not satisfying. We kind of executed the play style we wanted and we did it really cle cleanly. So yeah, we are very satisfied today. Kellen, in the previous KT match and today, you guys went with very similar competition, Klista and Tariq. Did you guys plan it in advance or was that like compromise during the pick and bends? Klista Tariq is a really um, powerful champ and both Ruler and I are good at those champions. Is that one of the Genji's winning recipe? We got plenty more. And the last pick for Griffin was Nami, which is not a very, very mainstream champion. We didn't make any um, any comment about Nami. We just said let's go ahead, let's have a press a lot of pressure during the laning phase and get a kill in level six. Then who made this call for this invade? I think I did because I had her in vision, so I called my teammates to go for it. And after this kill point, Genji was accelerating the lead. Did you expect that this would snowball this hard? Well, during the pick and bends, well, Griffin took a champion that needed a lot of priority in the laning phase, but they made a big mistake in level one. So I think it was really an effective point over there. But we played a bit slowly because Game number one, Bit and Jungle both have um, priority, so we, but we let the opponent take the turret plate gold, so we should improve on that. So we focus a little bit on farming and farming, so we both were playing a little bit, a little bit defensively. And Kellen barred two barred games so far. I've practiced barred quite a lot. It's been um, before this, but but I I did not really use it during the screens, but I saw the perfect angle today. And Clint, with their victory, Clint, Clint uh, Rexai is on a 5 to 1 record so far. Why is Rexai so strong? Well, Rexai is a very strong AD damage um, jungler. So it's also easier to get the priority in the early phase of the game. But we have another highlight with their Rexai play, with this awesome flank angle. We were actually doing damage on the front line, but they managed to come in in a nice angle, so our players were having a, um, getting a lot of damage. So I told my teammates to watch for me. So I was able to go for a nice flank there. Why did you decide to re-engage? I had GA, I had Flash, and I thought I knew that the enemies didn't know where I was at. They were a bit flustered, so I could catch that, so I was confident enough to re-engage on them. So you were trying a lot of flank angles, you were playing a bit isolated, why was that? Rek'Sai is really good at 
split push and you can group up with your teammates really fast and also I can like 1v1 with top laner so I try to kind of play alone in the side lane as well. Clint, what's your goal for the split then? Kellen, I want a trophy with my teammates. Clint, would you like to give him a help? Any message for Kellen? So Kellen joined our team, he's the youngest member, so we're going to take a good care of him and we want to reach further with all together. Congratulations on your win and this will be the end of the interview.